Coming up on this week's episode, WAI announces 2021 scholarships. By eFlyer 2 technology demonstrator starts the next phase of flight testing. And Fasana schedules their next flight school operator conference. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly news program dedicated to all things flight training, as well as the amazing industry built around it. There's no segment more important to the growth of the aviation world than the flight training community. The 2021 WAI scholarship program opens today, with 56 scholarships being offered in flight training, engineering, maintenance, dispatcher, and professional development for students of all ages. Additional scholarships and internships will be added in the coming months, with over 100 scholarships expected to be posted by the fall. In order to apply for a scholarship, you must be a WAI member by November 1st of 2020. Applicants are encouraged to check for new scholarships often and may apply for up to three scholarships per year. The deadline to apply for 2021 scholarships is November 10th of this year. And all scholarships will be awarded during the 32nd Annual International Women in Aviation Conference in Reno, Nevada on March 11th through the 13th of 2021. For more information on application requirements, scholarships, or tips on how to submit a winning application, head over to wai.org slash scholarships. Today's Around the Patch is coming up right after these messages. Like most of you, we're still working from home. We miss being around pilots. But the most important thing right now is to mitigate your risks and use this time productively while we all get through this. Folks, King Schools is open and we're 100% operational. We're making sure that your courses work and are available for you 24-7. We look forward to the time when we can see you again at the airport. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. Four aviation maintenance students from ERAU got the opportunity to travel to Miami and participate in a course focused on the Airbus A320's engine, airframe, and avionics systems. Students Zenning Lowe, Cameron Pike, Tristan Anderson, and Joseph Sonish were chosen based on their academic performance, as well as their service to the Society of Aerospace Technicians and ERAU's AMS department. The course was approved by EASA and paid for by Airbus. Wiley Howe of Camp Verde, Arizona is the 2020 Ray Scholarship winner. Howe is a 2020 graduate of Camp Verde High School and plans to attend Coaches College in Douglas to major in aviation. The scholarship will allow him to get his private pilot's license before he starts his college education to earn his commercial pilot's license. The Ray Aviation Scholars Program provides up to $10,000 to young people pursuing flight training. Flight Safety International is now offering maintenance technician training at a new learning center located at the Sunshine Coast Airport in Queensland, Australia. Technicians in the program will benefit from Flight Safety's immersive courseware, as well as full-scale systems trainers, major cutaways, working models, and test equipment used to demonstrate procedures and to reinforce classroom learning. Flight Safety's instructors provide more than 1.4 million hours of training each year to pilots, technicians, and other aviation professionals from 167 countries and territories. Horizon International Flight Academy has logged more than 1,000 flight hours in its Bell 505 fleet. Horizon's training academy is located in the United Arab Emirates and mainly uses the Bell 505 to train military pilots. The academy took delivery of its first aircraft back in January. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Affordable and economical. Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting, with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as 5 hours of endurance. Learn more about what the Pipistrol Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrol-usa.com.
by Aerospace has begun the next phase of its flight test program for its two-seat all-electric e-flyer 2 technology demonstrator. The flight test program is focused on collecting flight envelope engineering data for the three propellers being considered for the FAA certified production version of the e-flyer 2. The criteria for selecting the confidential propeller finalists included the propeller's lightweight requirement along with the propeller's aerodynamic design, evaluated against the E-Flyer 2's flight training mission. The prototype Rolls-Royce electric motor currently on the aircraft has varying torque and a large RPM range with a relatively small size and cross-section. Therefore, more of the propeller length is available to provide thrust across a broad range of RPM. Flight tests with the various propellers will be conducted over the summer against these beneficial and unique electric propulsion criteria. By Aerospace's E-Flyer family of aircraft, including the 2-seat E-Flyer 2 and the 4-seat E-Flyer 4, aims to be the first FAA Part 23 certified all-electric airplanes to serve the flight training, air taxi, and general aviation markets. Fasana's annual Flight School Operators Conference will be returning to the Rosen Plaza in Orlando, Florida next spring, March 3rd through the 5th of 2021. As the flight training community tries to work its way out from under all the damage caused by the coronavirus pandemic, events like this are critical to rebuilding and crafting a better future for flight training. Whether you're an existing or new flight school, at the conference you'll learn how to increase profits, engage in growth strategies and new business opportunities, adapt to the latest trends and technology, manage costs and be more efficient, as well as learn about any regulatory changes and policies affecting flight training. There will also be plenty of networking opportunities, one-on-one -on -one sessions, and workshops that help you successfully navigate the year ahead. Established in 2009, Fasana is the first and only association of its kind solely dedicated to the flight training industry. For more information, head over to Fasana.com. And that wraps up our show, everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. I'll see you Friday.